I think the most intriguing part about being a firefighter is the adrenaline. It's definitely cool to be able to, you know, be hands-on. We do a lot of the same stuff that the firefighters literally do on the line. My favorite thing about being a firefighter is we get to walk in slow motion. We hold class at the Hillsborough Fire Training Center where they get to work side by side with a couple of the local fire instructors. I have learned a lot of techniques and strategies and team building through this class. Working with the fire truck holes and stuff, it just adds on to your personal knowledge. When we're hooking up to a hydrant, we're going to pull the four inch hose off of there, wrap the hydrant, we'll break the connections on the hydrant and then we'll make a two and a half connection and a four inch connection and then the engineer will signal when they're ready for water and then we'll charge the hydrant. So with forcible entry they're going to uh, try before they pry and then we have a philosophy of gap set force so they're going to try and create a gap, maintain that gap and then keep working until that door is open and then once the door is open they're going to do a live fire layout so they'll open the door, they'll get down low, they'll look in for anybody that might be at the door, pull them out if they're there. Otherwise, they're gonna try and get a layout of the structure and then they're gonna move forward. So on ladder rescues, they have a person on the exterior who's going up the ladder. If there's a person inside to help transition that patient from inside to outside, they'll work together. They'll probably cradle that person because it's easier to maintain control of the ladder if they're moving down with that person in their arms. And then as they're getting down lower, the person healing the ladder will usually count them down so they know where they're at on the ladder. And then when people are around, they can assist with getting that victim uh, handed off from the person that's rescuing them. Two of the three classes are a dual credit option with Portland Community College. So if they move on to the community college to pursue a degree in fire science, they already have some of those credits taken care of. My career path is I will go to PCC and get my EMT while I train as a student intern with the fire department. The end goal is to become a structure firefighter, maybe for Hillsborough, maybe for someone else, we'll see. Now this summer I'm going to be a wildland firefighter thanks to this program. Having been through this Liberty High School fire science program, it definitely gives me a degree of confidence. This is a great first step to get started. I know the people that I'm going to possibly work for. It's been an incredible opportunity to start here in Hillsboro, which is my hometown, go through school here, receive some education, and then come back and work for the city I grew up in.